This video lesson is about interpreting bar graph. A bar graph is a one way of presenting a set of data using bars. And it tells a story about data or information given. The importance of interpreting a bar graph is to understand the bar graph itself and to uh, compare and contrast the different data. A bar graph can be classified according to the data. Data can be drawn horizontally and vertically. To interpret the data, I will show you how to interpret a bar graph. First, get familiar on the parts of a bar graph. If you want to know the parts of a bar graph, just click and watch the video above or in my previous lesson. Second, note the data, labels, and scale of a given bar graph. And the last and the important part is to answer the guided question to interpret the bar graph. We use guided questions to interpret the bar graph. So guided questions be like. So these are some examples of guided questions that you can answer on a bar graph or to interpret a bar graph. What is the title of a bar graph? What information is placed along horizontal axis? What information is placed along vertical axis? What data is more likely high and likely how? L likely low? And what is the average of the graph? There are many guided questions that you can use in interpreting a bar graph. So you can add more guided questions just to interpret what is the bar graphs all about. So let's try for my bar graph number one. In this bar graph, uh, showing the birthday of students by month. So let's proceed on the guided question and also get familiar on the parts of a bar graph. So the title is the birthday of school, a uh, birthday of students by month. The bottom or the horizontal axis is month and the vertical axis or the y or the x axis is the number of students. So let's try to answer the guided question. So what is the title of a bar graph? What information is placed along horizontal axis? What information is placed along vertical axis? What pretty month has the highest number of students? What kind of a bar graph shown? So, I'll show you what is the answer according to a bar graph, to our bar graph number one. So, first question or first guided question is, what is the title of a bar graph? So, in our bar graph number one, the title is, the birthday of students by month. Next, when, what information is placed along horizontal axis? We all know that the horizontal axis is at the bottom, which is the month. So from January up to December. Number three. What information is placed along vertical axis? So vertical axis are shown or drawn on this side of the bar graph. And then the information place along it is the number of students number four guided question what birthday month has the highest number of students so we're going to look 
for the data that has the highest number of students which month is the highest number of students birthday okay it is the month of june so as you can see there are 10 students which is the birthday month is june and june is the highest month the mostly the students has birthday and number five what kind of a bar graph show so in our bar graph number one the kind of bar graph is vertical because uh, the data is drawn vertically okay i hope you learn for this graph number one so let's proceed for our bar graph two again there is also a guided question first or one what is the title of the bar graph what information is placed along horizontal axis what information is placed along vertical axis and what is school activity has the highest number of students and what school activity has the lowest number of students so let's try to answer using our bar graph so first what is the title of a bar graph can you guess very good it's students favorite after school activities so it's all about school activities that the students um, do after the school after their school next what information is placed along horizontal axis so the information placed along the horizontal axis is the number of students number three what information is placed along vertical axis so again vertical axis are on the side of a bar graph and the information placed along vertical axis is the different activities number four what is school activities as the highest number of students so look on the data which has the highest number of students or what is school activities has the highest number of students can you guess very good visit with friends so mostly of the students the favorite after school activities is visiting their friends and next what school activities has the lowest number of students so in this we're going to look for the lowest number of students who like the particular activities so the lowest number of students is school clubs so they'll go along with the school clubs a little number so it likely they don't like to go to school clubs so this supposed to be the uh the bar graph number two so let's try our last bar graph so in this bar graph is all about fruit which is apples banana grapes oranges and pears so let's try to answer the guided question which is what is the title of a bar graph what information is placed along horizontal axis what information is placed along vertical axis what fruit has the lowest sales and five what is the average of the fruit sales can you try to answer for this bar graph i'll give you one minute or more to answer this activity
So your one minute starts now. You can use a calculator for the guided question number five. Thirty seconds. So in getting the average, I just add all the fruits sales and just divide it by five to get the average of the fruit sales. Okay. Let's try to answer and just compare with your answer. So the first guided question is what is the title of the paragraph? It is the fruit sales. Number two, what information is placed along horizontal axis? It is fruits, which is the apples, bananas, grapes, oranges, and pears. Number three, what information is placed along vertical axis? So the information placed is the sales or the number of sales of different fruits. Number four, what fruit has the lowest sales? So look for the data has the lowest sales and what fruit it is. It is the peers, which is 25 sales. Before answering our number four, I uh, number five, what is the highest sales or what fruit has the highest sales? Yes, it is the banana which has a 60 uh, sales of fruits okay let's proceed to number five what is the average of a fruit sales so again to get the average of the fruit sales just add all the fruit sales or the sum and just divide it by five and the average for this paragraph is 41 so I hope you learned something on my lesson. Thank you.